policing means that it relies upon the civilian support. That's why in different parts of the country we are trying for community policing, allowing the community to have a say in the affairs of the police. There was a famous saying of fake statesman Clemenceau at the time of the First World War. He said that war is too important a thing to be left in the hands of the generals. So similarly, I feel policing is also too important a thing to be left in the hands of policemen themselves. And that's why in police reforms, which I was also closely associated with it from the National Human Rights Commission, we wanted civilian oversight bodies over the police and something has come. Accountability commissions, police have to be accountable. But now turning to the main issue that there is a crisis in law enforcement, there is no doubt about it. Crimes are increasing. Cases are pending in courts of law. Instead of going to the help of law enforcement authorities, people are taking law in their own hands. So what are the reasons? To my mind, the reasons are, number one, bad laws. Large number of laws are unenforceable. The clutter in the back room of police stations, the practical difficulties are not taken into account. Number two, which has been widely discussed in the first session of the first session of the morning, the bad quality, poor quality of the lawmakers, the types of people who are coming in the parliament, coming in the legislatures, they have no time for making good laws or devoting time for this. On the other hand, they are spending a lot of time to ensure that proper law enforcement is not done. Third is the poor quality and the decline in the quality of the law enforcement officers. There is a decline in quality. And why blame the politicians? What standards we are setting up? When we joined service, I remember in Orissa we could count and fingers that these are, among the all Indian services, both IS and IPS, that these are the officers of dubious integrity. They are very few in number, you can count them on fingers. Today, the reverse is true. You won't be able to find many whose integrity is totally above board. That is a very sad state of affairs. And there I find that integrity in law enforcement, that is the heart of the matter. We have to stress on this. And along with this, this poor professionalism, that's why it is suffering. There is no point in dishonest people do not know. Law enforcers have to know rules, laws, regulations well. They don't know. I know. The inspection no can Kira will bear me out. The inspection notes, senior officers after visiting police stations are written by subordinate staff. They just signed it. Supervision of cases, which is key to proper investigation, these are written by the subordinate. And it's not confined. Law enforcement, I am, that's why I say, it's not confined to the police. Human Rights Commission, I visited many police stations also, uh, many courts also, and many prisons also. And there you find that, yes, inspection notes of the prisons by the sessions judges. There are tea samosa notes, nothing. No, no discussion about the pendency of the large number of under trials in prisons and what can be done about it. So it's poor professionalism is also responsible. And last, not the least, is the absence of human rights culture. And this I strongly feel. To my mind, human rights stands for human dignity. Our law enforcers have forgotten that. Common people, that's why large number of largest number of complaints before the National Human Rights Commission come from the common people. They don't get, don't get any justice, nor also proper appreciation of the problem. Do this asymmetry of power, lack of human rights culture, creates the problems of enforcement. Now what, what I feel can, things can be done to set things right. Uh, this is where I personally feel that some of the things which can be, and which are practicable, not that yes, not that suggest something that is not done. First is the question of recruitment. Today is the fact that large number of constables constitute 75% of the force, large enough recruitments, particularly in northern states, are done on payment of money. From 2 lakhs to 3 lakhs of rupees, in different ranks they are being paid. 
So people are joining service by paying hefty sums. What do you expect? And but the situation is not all that bad. It has been done. States like the Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, they have shown that recruitment can be improved. It can be made by and large fair, foolproof. This requires political will. This is something which requires to be done. Number two, the training. I have been the director of the National Police Academy. I strongly believe in training. And I personally feel that some training institutions must insist upon ethical values. But I, I, Mr. Akbar's book I read on Jawaharlal Nehru, the Pandit used to say, older I grow, I judge a man more by, more by his character than by his ideas. So character. Ethical principles should be there. I have seen in Japan, policing, there is the utmost insistence on rectitude, proper norms have to be followed, and this is not. Third is the poor quality of the training institutions. Many of them have been the dumping grounds of inefficient elements. They have nothing else to do. They have become trainers. So this is something which can be set right. This is not beyond. Improved training institution, emphasis on ethical values, this can be easily done. And last, the insulation. And uh, last, not the least, the insulation of the police from extraneous pressure. Pratikian has elaborated on that. Yes, police have to be insulated on extraneous pressure. And in our National Human Rights Commission, eh, we felt that there is no point in only punishing some aberrant offi officials and offering some relief unless and until you are also willing to make some systemic change. 150 years ago, Torture Commission thought there's a lot of torture and misuse of police power in police stations. It continues even today. So where, 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 what is the reason? Something is also systemic which has to be changed. And that we have to think of.